Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 2 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legend Complete Edition Gen Playthrough! And in this part, we're going to be doing the Battle of Xiangping, where we have to take on Gong Sun Yuan. So, we have a choice between Sumi Yi, Sumi Shur, Sumi Xiao, and Wang Yuanji. Unfortunately, I'll save Wang Yuanji for later, and Sumi Xiao for later as well, and play as Sumi Shur. Because this guy, I gotta say... Despite the fact he shares his father's callous nature and sometimes his intellect and his humor, he does, in a way, have a lighthearted side to him. And by lighthearted, everybody who's played Dynasty Warrior 7, or at least the DLC, knows how lighthearted his side is. He loves meat buns. Meat buns is his MO. And if anybody eats a meat bun that belongs to him, he shall rain vengeance and hellfire upon them. This is carried over in Warriors Orochi, and wouldn't you know it, it's the joke DLC in this game too. And speaking of jokes, Gong Sun Yuan! The whole point of this is to pretty much take care of his alliance. There is no star requirement here, you're just beating up everybody at the foothill of your base, you will eventually get to Gong Sun Yuan because that fool is going to seal himself in and unfortunately for him, there is nothing he can do to save himself. So, Suma sure definitely got an upgrade from Dynasty Warrior 7 because in 7, he shared the rapier along with Yuan Shao and Liu Shan. The difference is, he got practically a longer rapier in the Blink Blade. Which, by the way, made him much better than the other two aforementioned rapier users. Well, I would say former rapier user in Liu Shan because he has a bench. No, seriously, the man has a bit. ouch. Okay, I'ma let that slide, because I'm about to take him down along with everybody here. But Suma sure, he definitely has uh, some really fantastic combos. I think back in the day, he used to steal life by just stabbing people in the heart and draining it. But at the exact same time... Oh yeah, by the way, there's a Wei Yan here. Not the Wei Han you're thinking of, but somebody else. However, he eventually becomes a part of Jin because he surrendered along with the rest of um, the forces of Gong Sun Yuan. But let's talk about Suma Shur instead. The Blink Blade is much faster, does aerial combos faster than the Rapier, and more importantly, I do believe he has uh, a melee rush with a uh, Blink Blade that does at least 20 hits or something like that and more importantly I think he also does an EX move where he has multiple shadow blades attacking and not to mention you saw earlier he has a uh, yin yang sign that stops enemies in their tracks Needless to say, this guy has... Yeah, that right there. Needless to say, this guy has gotten an improvement. And needless to say, Dynasty Warriors 9 screwed the pooch by giving him back the rapier and sharing it along with Liu Shan and Yuan Shao. And also Yuan Shu, so... uh. Why would you do that? By the way, that was his original Musao in Dynasty Warrior 7. Glad to see it back in 8, but with a different weapon. Still. You're practically just following along with the mission and heading over to Gong Sun Yuan so that you can kill him and take his land like the poser that he is. Fun fact, Gong Sun Yuan is actually a distant relative of Gong Sun Zan. As a matter of fact, I think he's a great, great, great nephew of him? Yeah. 
Because his son is the person who ended up killing um, Yuan Shi and Yuan Tan, if I'm not mistaken. Because Yuan Shang was killed by Cao Cao. But uh, Yuan Shi and Yuan Tang were killed by Gonzun San, no Gonzun Yuan's uh, grandfather, I think. And after that, Cao Cao had the Gongsuns as loyal soldiers up until uh, this incident here, when Gongsun Yuan just got full of himself and called himself the King of Yan. So on that note. We had to wait for the ladders to come into place. That's why I stepped in front of the gate because of the fact that it would glitch if I didn't wait. So, ladder right here. Let's climb up it. And then we're gonna climb up the other ladder too. So, in other words, Gong Sun Yuan's time is limited. That's why this part is absolutely short. Because there's really not much to say except follow the uh, path that's given to you. And Gong Zun's shoe is the only thing that is keeping you from taking care of Gong Zun Yuan. But since I'm at the appropriate level to take him down, it doesn't really matter. I will make it a point to stop by Ambition Mode, specifically for uh, other people, because they're going to be rather important later on for the hypothetical routes. So with that said, let's go on ahead and beat up whoever is left and standing in my way, because the only officer that's in my way is in fact Gong Sung Yuan and his troops that's protecting him. And what a surprise we just did to them. They're all backing up in fear. They're all afraid. It's over. Gong Sun Zan's about to get wrecked. And that takes care of this guy. And by taking care of his troops, Gong Sung Yuan will have one last thing to say before he dies. So with that said, Let's put an end to him, and let's end this part. Just like that. Well, there is no cutscene to pretty much put an end to Gong Sun Yuan. But, we've pretty much took care of the King of Yan, where he stands. Oh, and don't worry about the star requirements. At least not until... Chapter, or should I say part four? Yeah. Not chapter four, I meant part four. Part four is where you start worrying about star requirements because they're literally back to back to pack. Part four, five, six, and seven. And then I think the hypothetical route and the historical route. Well, actually, near the end of the hypothetical and near the end of the historical. Just saying. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen. We now have to be, unfortunately, under the mercy of this idiot, Cao Shuang. And yes, I definitely stress the keyword idiot. Because this man allowed Haiyan, one of the most corrupt people in all of Wei, talk him into not only stripping Suma Yi of command, almost gave him one of the three excellencies, in the process, but he decides to go take on Shu, which, by the way, up until, well, since Wei Yan is dead, has, has a high defense, specifically at wherever we're going, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the Battle of Xingxi, yes, Xingxi had high defenses, that is until Zhang Wei tore up all the defense plans. And it cost him dearly. We'll get to that when we do. But right now, I'll say we'll see you all in the next part. Last we have to save Cao Shuang at Xinji because he's an idiot. Peace out, guys.